We're looking at the underside of a Turner 300 gearbox and I had a question, someone asked recently what's in behind here and I don't actually know, I think it could be a PTO spline or something anyway. So I'm going to take this cover off and have a look because I've got a few oil leaks in here anyway and see what's behind there. So we've whacked the cover off and there is your answer. There is. There's a spline behind there and we've got a screw thread, bolt thread in the middle. I don't know if it's the same size spline as what's in the top. I'll go around and count the splines. So the answer is there are 23 splines on the end of this bad boy and that's the lower shaft out of the Turner gearbox. If you know what they put on these things, if they did run PTOs and that sort of things, write in the comments. It'd be interesting to know. Just gathering some information on this lower spline below the main drive shaft at the back of the Turner gearbox and the actual widest diameter from the outside of spline to spline is 38 millimeters and the overall length of that shaft is about 60 millimeters. And, and some further observations to do with the bearing on the back here. The bearing is actually held in with like a big circlip around there um, and there's a groove in the bearing where the clip circlip goes into so that probably stops it going into the case and I believe that this bearing and circlip is held in that way using this cap which has two grooves in it to match on the back of the bearing. So I got the back cover off and I was just having a look at it in the garage and we've got our gasket and I've cleaned that up and I was going to just put the cover back on with a bit of grey Japanese sealant but then I took some measurements and we've got, I was showing you before, there's a clip on the back of the bearing. The clip sits in there and the bearing's held in place with this surface. Now, if I don't use this gasket, the tolerance stack up means we're going to end up with a bit of a gap between there and the back of the gearbox because really it was designed to have a gasket in it. So I'm going to put the gasket back in and I'm going to put some grey sealant on either side of this to stop it weeping, which is the main annoyance than anything British leaks anyway. So we've got some grey sealant on here, Japanese 3 bond, uh, can't remember the number, 1215, really good stuff. Sticks a shit like a blanket. Got it on both sides of the gasket and we've got some on the back of the gearbox and not all oil leaks come from the gasket. They, from experience, leak through the bolt threads. So I've got some around the backs of the bolts there just to keep everything from escaping. So we'll put the cover back on. There you have it. We know what's behind this cover. Now I'm going to point out something really obvious. Your gearbox needs to be empty of oil before you pull this off because it's going to spew out everywhere. Now, just before we disappear, we'll have a look in here. I've got the side cover off. I'm going to do the same to that. But you can see, I think I'm pretty sure that the brass synchros in there. And overall, the gearbox appears to be in pretty good nick, but I'm no expert. So that's what's in there. And they also do uh, PTO or oil pumps. They hang them off the side of these two plates where they go here on either side of the engine. I'm just killing mosquitoes here. Right, so that's it. End of that. Thanks for watching. See ya.